Okay, this is another quick video brought to you by Jack of All Trades. I'm going to show you a little uh, a little trick. Um, see, you have Magic Jack, and you installed it, and you have the dialer window. And when you reboot Windows 7, you got to click on the Magic Jack icon in order to get it to load. Um, some people will do this. They will go to uh, where is it? Startup, and they'll put it in here to load it. But I'll show you a better way of uh, starting your Magic Jack service uh, on boot up, so you don't have to ever worry about it loading when you start your computer. So you're going to press Start, go to the Control Panel, go up to Administration Tools. Go to Task Scheduler, load it, press over here on Task Scheduler Library. Now here's the service. What you can do is going to create a basic task. Let's load this up and you're going to come up with this window. You're going to type in Magic Jack as the name, here, here. Uh, location, just leave that blank. Type in Description Phone Service. Uh, when running task, use the following user account the one that you're logged into. Run only when user is logged in. Run with highest privilege. Windows 7 is selected. Triggers. You're going to want to edit your trigger. And you're going to want to set your trigger to at logon any user and leave these unchecked. Under actions you're going to want to select start a program and then you need to find the path to your magicjackloader.exe so it's going to be under c slash user slash whatever user account you're logged into as the name slash app data slash roman slash mjusbsp slash magicjackloader.exe so and if you can't see the app data folder I'll show you the, how to find it in a second uh, just press the browse button and let's cancel that out. I'll show you how to. Sometimes this app data folder is, is hidden, so you're gonna have to show hidden files. So, uh, conditions start the task only if the computer is on AC power. Just keep it this. This is what you want set in here. Settings allow task to be run on demand. The check mark in there. Take the check marks out of the rest of this. And that's pretty much it. So now when you reboot the computer, I have it disabled because I have Windows uh, Magic Jack installed as a Windows service. So this is if you want to use the dialer window and you don't want to install it as a service because you'd like to use, say, a, a headset or the telephone, then you're going to need the dialer window. So um, I have this disabled, but I used to use this option for about a year until I switched to the Windows service. So I'm going to show you how to... Uh, find the app folder. Let's see here, go to control panel. Uh, or is it folder options right here? View, tab, You'll put check mark, show hidden files, folders and drives. Uh, hide empty drives. Take check mark out of hide extensions for known file types. And you can leave that check mark in there. High protected system files recommended. So there you go. Now to find it, click on my computer, drive C, users, Ferguson's or whatever your name is that you logged in under. And do you see that folder? That's the app. That folder will not appear unless you enable find hidden folders so then you click in here and then you go find your your magic jack uh, folder in there so now I don't have magic jack installed as a service right now it's uh, as a uh, dialer window I have it as a service so what it does is as a service it puts the folder right here it takes it out of the uh, user folder puts it into the local main drive right here so Let's go back to the task scheduler. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Administration. 
pass scheduler. Let's take a look at Magic Jack. Let's go to there you go, actions. There you go, actions. So app data, and then it would be in the Roman tab, and that's where it would be located. So all you're gonna do is change this name right here to your username. When you and you're gonna plug your magic jack in, boot up, let the window show up, let it load, all that crap. And then you're gonna go find this this right here, and you're gonna put this in here to start the program. That's pretty much it. So there you go. That's how you start your uh, Magic Jack. Every time you boot the computer up, it'll automatically start, and you'll never have to worry about it again for the future. This is for Windows 7. Uh, I believe this is for Windows Vista as well. Windows XP. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, look for more uh, videos to come in the future. Have a good night.